everyone, I'm Shruti and I live in Singapore and today I am making you my most favorite dish, the Maharashtrian classic breakfast, Misar Pao. Misar Pao is a spicy, tangy uh, broth with a lot of sprouts and it's had with bread. So let's get cooking. So let's now get to making the Misar. So Misar is, Misar consists of two parts. The cut, the curry and uh, the misal that is the sprouted moth beans. I have sprouted this for uh, over two days and uh, what I have done is I want to show you how it is in its original form. So uh, this is how it looks uh, before I have soaked it. Uh, I have washed it well and soaked it overnight in water and uh, I have uh, drained out the water the next day and left it in a colander like this and it has sprouted uh, really well for two days just keep it covered with a cloth or uh, a, a small plate and uh, after two days you will see that it has sprouted uh, this well so so let's start making the usar first with the sprouts and uh, we call this matki so i have heated up uh, a tablespoon of oil and i have added a teaspoon of mustard seeds you can see they're already splashing and uh, now I'm going to add uh, half a teaspoon of uh, jeera I'm going to add uh, just quarter teaspoon of uh, hing that is asafoetida skip it if you don't have it um, I have a few curry leaves I'm just going to tear a few leaves and add it I'm just going to put this this is about a cup of uh, the matki and uh, it kind of doubles up uh, when it sprouts I'm going to add very little bit of the spices uh, quarter teaspoon of haldi that is the turmeric half a teaspoon of red chilli powder half a teaspoon of garam masala half a teaspoon of jeera powder and a teaspoon of coriander powder I'm also going to add salt taste about a teaspoon so this is basically um, a dry preparation which forms the base of the misal that we're talking about so we are going to get to making the cut after a few minutes I'm going to add some water just enough to cover it to cook So let's get to making uh, the cut that is the, the broth so basically we need to first roast a few ingredients and make a paste and that forms the base of the curry take in about a quarter cup of freshly grated coconut you can take the uh, dried coconut as well i'm going to dry roast this until it's a little golden brown And uh, I'm going to uh, start roasting uh, the ingredients uh, one by one. So here I have some onions. So as you can see, the onions have slightly changed color. Now I'm adding some ginger and garlic. I have taken about five big cloves of garlic, and I've taken an inch of ginger, just roughly chopped. I'm going to just roast them uh, for another minute or two till the garlic gets a nice uh, brown color. The ginger and garlic are giving out an amazing aroma. I'm going to add the tomatoes now. And I'm going to season this with a little bit of salt so that it softens the tomato uh, faster. So as you can see, the tomatoes have completely broken down and become soft. I'm going to turn off the flame now. Uh, I'm going to remove this out on a plate and cool it down completely. completely. I have already added uh, the roasted coconut in this. I'm going to add the cool down onion, tomato, ginger, garlic. And 
now I'm also uh, adding a small bunch of coriander leaves along with its stalks and I'm going to grind this into a very very fine paste. So now let's get to making the cut that is the curry of the misal. So I have ground uh, the tomatoes and it's completely fine. There is, it's a very very fine mixture. And uh, I have taken about half a cup of oil. Yes, you will need that much of oil. And uh, please do not shy away uh, from adding a lot of oil and a lot of spices because that's what this curry is all about. So I'm going to uh, add a teaspoon of mustard seeds to this. So now that my mustard seeds are sputtering, I'm going to add a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds. Apparently. And now I'm just loading the flames a bit. And I'm going to add this brown paste uh, to the pan. Be very careful as the oil is going to be hot. And forget about your diets if you're making misal pav at home. So I'm going to make sure the oil completely uh, mixes with this paste and this needs a lot of patience because you want this whole paste to completely roast well and uh, dry up and release the oil. So now the oil hasn't released. The oil is still on the surface of the masala. Uh, so this will take you about 10 minutes. Uh, it's been about 5 minutes. I'm going to add the secret ingredient that will bind the curry really well. So I'm adding uh, about 2 teaspoons of chickpea flour, half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder. I'm adding 2 to 3 heaped teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder. I'm adding a heaped teaspoon of garam masala. And uh, I'm also adding a heaped teaspoon and a half of dhaniya jeera powder. So now I'm going to stir this for another five to seven minutes on low flame. I would like to tell you that there are different uh, versions of uh, the misal that we're making now. There are different cities in Maharashtra that have their own version and own, own spice level. Uh, there is a Kulapuri uh, style misal which is extremely spicy. Uh, there is a Puneri style misal which is from Pune. Uh, there is a Nasik style misal and uh, they have even different bases to their misal. So as you can see I have already cooked my uh, sprouts. So they also add uh, uh, a lightly uh, spiced uh, potato vegetable. So it's a very uh, uh, wholesome dish. Uh, but here I have not added potatoes. You can add uh, potatoes, boiled potatoes if you want. I have only uh, taken the sprouts as my base. So as you can see, the color has uh, completely changed and become amazing and uh, dark red. So now it's been about uh, four minutes and I'm adding uh, three green chilies roughly chopped. You can totally skip this if you do not want it really spicy. Uh, but I have added the chilies and now is the good time to add the water to this. So I'm adding about a litre of water. And now I'm adding a big spoon of salt. Uh, season this according to your uh, salt preference and give it a good stir. Taste it and now I'm going to boil this really well for another 10 minutes until I see the layer of oil completely on top which is the tarri that I mentioned to you before. So it's been 10 minutes since the broth has been boiling. So now we have to see whether is the tarri there over the curry. I'm going to switch this off and I'm going to show you the layer of oil that comes. Uh, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime so, and you can see this is the tarri that I'm talking about. This is the layer of oil that we need from the curry. So this is completely done. I'm going to just lightly uh, garnish this with a little bit of coriander. And uh, I'm going to empty this in the bowl and I'm going to tell you how to assemble this whole misal. These are the components of the misal 
and this is the pav these are butter rolls or bread or any white bread that you have so this is the Bum mumbai pav which we get in the city of mumbai which is quite um, synonymous to mumbai i would like to show you that this is another important base of the misal this is the farsan so these are nothing but chickpea based dry snacks that we have so these are the gatia this is the sev this is the mixture which is got the fafda so basically these are just very lightly uh, flavored they're not spicy they're just savory uh, besan based snacks so now i am going to uh, take a big spoon of the cooked matki the usar and i am going to just roughly mix this all together and uh, i'm going to top it up with a lot of the farsan because this is a very very important part of the misal as well and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to completely put the tari over this and you have to make sure there's enough for your bread to completely uh, soak up all the flavors in this so now i'm also going to uh, garnish this with some coriander and some fresh onion and i have kept some lemon on the side so finally we have our spicy misal ready and uh, i cannot wait to have this because uh, my mouth is already watering a lot so basically i'm just going to take a small bite Mm. Super spicy, super tasty and yummy. I just thought I'll show you the sprouts, the snacks, the curry, the beautifully merged and it's a wholesome and a yummy curry. It's also full of protein and uh, try this at home, make this and let me know how you like it. Keep watching my recipes. Thank you.